Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 4, and yeah, I guess we will fight, deal with a weird flying womb or some shit. And apparently someone dies. So yeah, interesting, I would say. <laughs> if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. <clears throat> Three hours ago, okay. So it took him only three hours to get here. Get here. Okay. So not everyone can see curses. Okay. That's the thing you ate, I think. <laughs> Idiot level. Okay. Since he is the strongest. Wow. Oh, so he's not around always. Which I think is interesting is that What I think is interesting is that lower grade curses can be defeated by guns or stuff like that. So why are they not using guns and stuff? I mean, in case of Nobara, she uses like her nails and hammer. I guess a gun would be easier to carry and use. He gets determined. <laughs> he wants to save people. If he wasn't on board before, then he he's definitely on board now. When he knows that there are people's life at stake. This opening is so good. Yeah, this one girl in the opening has this weird glasses that allows her to see curses. So I guess not everyone can see curses, it seems like, which is interesting, I think. So the ones that can see curses are called Window? <clears throat> I mean, Itadori could see, could see curses even before he got the powers, right? And Nobara can see them. And the other guy with the black hairs, which name I forgot all the time, could also see them. And obviously Gojo can see him. So are they basically all windows? It seems so far that it's like very common to see curses. <laughs> curse, a curse womb must die. <laughs> Curse, womb, go, boom. 
That's a good name. Some kind of barrier? Yeah, I would guess so. It's a veil. Nobara is like, this dude knows nothing. <laughs> okay, here goes his dogs again. At the dog. Is he biting him? No. <clears throat> so the curse was in the sky last episode and it went somewhere else. Can it, can it distort the world? Uh, they can distort, like, the surroundings, I guess. No. Door gone. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. Sometimes they get along and are basically on the same wavelength. <laughs> and sometimes they're not. Oh. Yeah, he got numbed. Nom nom nom. <clears throat> Here, have your dead son. What happened to him? Yeah, it was some gas. <laughs> but do you want to carry him around the whole time? <laughs> Dang. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Bye. The dog is gone. And he's gone? Oh no. What the fuck? I thought the womb was the special grade. Man, this is the first time that Itadori is sweating. Maybe his special great curse is coming out and saves the day? Maybe? What the fuck? He 
can make a bird too. Okay, that's maybe not necessarily a bird. Some birdish thing. <laughs> Don't die. But I just leave. Okay. Okay. He sees no worth in it. Wow. So I guess <clears throat> So I guess the curse of Itadori won't help. But man, I would I wouldn't really have thought that this ugly thing is the special great curse. Move your ass. Okay, so that's why he left. And there are dozens more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Dude, he can't survive those hits? I don't know, may... Does his curse power make him more resistant from the intro to the scene? Uh, somewhat. Holy shit. Yeah. And now that he's confronted with like the real threat. Now that he's confront confronted with the real threat, he's basically like, what the fuck did I thought about back then? <laughs> so, she has no other enemies? What happened with the faces? Ugh. Oh! He has a frog too? <laughs> Dude, this episode is so weird. It's, it feels so random.
Damn, dude. Is the curse maybe still helping? Maybe? He told him. Right. Maybe you can weaken him a bit if you stay positive. Hey, let's have a happy death. <laughs> I guess, yeah, he grabbed his hand. Damn, the OST in the back. <clears throat> and here he goes. Now it's time to switch. Oh, now he is shocked. I guess he knows what's up. Like, oh, I'm getting fucked now. Shit. <laughs> I had my five minutes of fun. <laughs> He's not paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he's not playing around, not following his orders, I guess. Yeah. He's like, I gave you a chance, but you don't take it. <laughs> Dude, this is a special great curse. <laughs> and he's just chill about chill about it. <laughs> Bro. How strong is he? It's what I'm wondering. <clears throat> I mean, at least in this form, he's definitely not strong enough to fight against Gojo, right? Gojo clearly had the upper hand. <clears throat> so this thing here would be like a joke if Gojo would be here. I mean, if he is in the cursed form, he wouldn't stand a chance, I guess. <laughs> but you are weak as fuck. God damn, he took him apart. <laughs> hey, he can also regenerate. Okay, okay. Can all special great curses do that? Or maybe all curses? <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. Show me. The main expansion. God damn. <laughs> oh, he has a finger. Oh, okay. That's three. So that's why he was maybe a, a special great curse because he has a finger. He's like, yeah, I know I can't do anything, so just take over. Or maybe he's not around? And he's like, okay, my chance. He isn't taking over. Let's fuck shit up. So are these basically just like small funny skits? I can't do that with smartphones. <laughs> exactly, Nobara is like... <laughs> I like Nobara. <laughs> I can't do it. Smartphones are just too flat. Okay, that was the episode, and yeah, let me know what you think. But I think it was an interesting episode. We learned more about curses and know how many grades there are and what is enough to beat them. We know that there are five grades, which goes from four, three, two, one, and then the special grade. And then we learned that for grade 4, it's enough if you have a wooden bat. For grade 3, it's enough if you have a handgun. For grade 2, it's a close call with a shotgun. For grade 1, a tank wouldn't be enough, probably. And then the special grade, it's like bombs and cluster bombs and all that shit. Uh, would be like even, somewhat. And so, which is kind of crazy, right? Um. So yeah, very interesting information. Then I guess because it's we fought a special grace, a uh, special great curse, uh, we also kind of learned that they can distort the surrounding, right? They can change like the surroundings, how it's like constructed and everything, <clears throat> and can make doors and stuff disappear, which is also kind of crazy. But then we learned that even the special great curse knew jack shit about what curses what special great curses can do when we saw what's his name i forget his name all the time but yeah from itadori is a special curse when he like showed what he can do and we also found another finger now which is pretty convenient i would say so yeah overall pretty informative and a uh, pretty informative episode had some good stuff going on but yeah also interesting to see that the special curse that Itadori has is not really willing to help, right? Because he's like, why should I help you? If I help you, then, right, you just, you use me basically. And once I'm done doing the work, then you just switch back. And if you die, that's not a big deal for me. I still have other remaining fingers lying around that I can rely on, right? So... If you, you are alive or dead, or if my fingers that are inside of you are alive or dead, 
doesn't really matter to me. I wonder if that's really how he thinks or if he just said that so to show that Itadori has like nothing to bargain with. Um, but I mean, it, now in the end, he actually did fight the special great curse, right? I mean, couldn't he just walk away and be like, yeah, I don't fight him. I don't do him this favor to fight the special great curse. So I guess he could just, because the special great curse could do nothing against him. So I guess he could have just got, walked away, right? Because his plan, because if you think about it, his plan was to go to the black hair dude. I always forget his name. I can't remember his name. Um, and let him fight with the special great curse so that it's like back to where they were before, right? Um, and the special uh, special great curse didn't follow the order, basically, right? He attacked uh, Itadori. Um, couldn't he have just lured him away to the other guy? Because I guess the special great curse would have followed him, right? So, instead he fought him and killed him and all that stuff. So, in the end, Itadori got what he wanted, basically. And now it seems like Itadori is maybe not consci conscious inside of him to take over again. Or maybe he just waits. Maybe he just teases him a bit. <laughs> um, I guess we will have to see. What I was confused about in this episode is basically the part with Nobara. First she fought the masks, and then suddenly, in the, from one scene to the next scene of Nobara, she suddenly gets eaten by a frog monster thingy or something. Um, and then she seemed fine, well. And in the car she suddenly had like a bandage around her eyes. Which I'm like confused why. She didn't have anything that, she didn't look like she was like hurt or anything. So that part confused me a bit. Maybe she was a bit hurt a little bit and they just put bandages around her for small first aid, basically. I don't know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's basically the episode, right? We saw how strong these curses can be, basically. But, I mean, we also learned that Gojo has to be super strong. Because for the special for Itadori's curse, this was like no big deal. And we know from episode that uh, Gojo has no big deal or has no issue or like problem fighting against the curse in Itadori, right? So he couldn't do anything to Gojo. So if Gojo would be around, this would have been a joke. But yeah, I guess that's the episode. I guess there's nothing more to say really. Nice information about curses and stuff. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, until next time, bye-bye.